What's up everyone, Ronnie Chavez here, and today we're going to be doing a slow motion breakdown of the corkscrew. Now I've done a corkscrew tutorial in the past that was pretty in depth, so you can check that one out for some different details, but this one's going to be more focusing on the slow motion details while you're doing the flip. So before jumping into doing the corkscrew, you want to make sure you have a solid J step down and a cheat gainer down because those are going to be required because that's basically what you're doing is you're doing a cheat gainer and a powerful J step um, to go into the corkscrew. All, all the corkscrew is is adding a 360 to a cheat gainer. So we're going to talk about how to implement those techniques and then throw a spin in to land the corkscrew. So once you have your J-step and cheat gainer down, which you should have them down already if you checked out my other tutorial, but basically we're going to go through the same motions again, doing the J-step, getting that power, that kicking leg, swinging the arms, all the motion from the takeoff is exactly the same for the corkscrew. Where it's going to be different is on your takeoff, is as you do your kick over towards your opposite shoulder and the lift of your arms, you're going to be setting up tall, just like the cheat gainer, and then it's at that moment, once you hit your set, that you're going to start your spin. Now the key to getting the spin in is all in just how your body's gonna come together for that spin. So starting with your leg, which is gonna play a big part of it, is because you're kicking it in that direction already, you're already kind of spinning in that direction from the J-step, simply, you're just going to be kicking your leg and then bringing it in towards your other leg. You can be slightly tucked or straight, whatever feels comfortable for getting the spin around, but basically that leg's gonna kick up to get the set and then come in to bring your body in tight. Now your upper body, your torso, as you get this set is you're going to be throwing your arms up just like we talked about before, but then during the set, what happens with your chest is you're actually going to try and start spotting the ground a little bit early so you can twist your chest open. So if I'm taking off this way, it's almost like I'm going to be just spotting the ground as I take off. And that's going to allow me to start that twisting motion. It's only a second. You're not going to stare at the ground for that long and you don't really even need to look at the ground. You just want to open up your chest that way as you throw your arms and then you're immediately going to wrap it in tight. And by a wrap, that means you set your arms up, you start twisting your chest, and then you pull your arms with them in the direction you wanna be spinning, and then bring them in tight to your chest, because the tighter your body is together, the faster you're gonna spin. Now the thing with the corkscrew, unlike the back full, is we're not flipping straight over our head and spinning, we're actually going off axis. And the spin can actually feel kind of similar to a B-twist, especially the landing of the corkscrew, you're landing in the exact same position as a B-twist. So as you come around and you're kind of off axis doing that spin, you're going to just hold that position, rotate it around, and as you rotate through the full 360, before you come close to the ground, you want to start kicking your, uh, your jumping leg forward. So for me, that's my right leg. I'm going to kick my jumping leg out to land on because the motion for how this move comes together, it just makes it easier to cheat it with the right leg Whereas if I were to land on the left leg, then it would be a hyper cork. Probably the hardest part of the cork is once you do the spin, is bringing your feet back down. Sometimes it can be difficult to keep the flip rotating around. And a lot of that comes with just being able to kick your leg out and really kind of tuck your knees in if you have to in your feet at the right time as you're rotating so that you can land on your feet. Because otherwise, if you don't kick them out in the right time and you just stay in that position, then you might just land on your hands and knees or your back or however you end up. Now remember, even though we're going over this in slow motion, all of these techniques and tricks are happening extremely fast and you want all of them to happen with power and control because bringing it all together in explosive motions will help you flip faster, rotate faster, and ultimately land the trick more successfully. So there's my tips and tricks on learning a corkscrew. Let me know if you guys have any questions and once again, let me know what tutorials you want me to do in the future. And I'll be sure to hit up Kuma Films again to help me film some super slow-mo tutorials for your learning. So that's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and parkour videos. And thanks for watching.